Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant, the Computer Certification Bulldog here, and in today's combination CCNA and Network Plus 3 Minute Boot Camp, we're going to talk about multicasting and what it is, but also, frankly, why we care. Because from experience, I know what it's like to begin your networking studies and you're learning all these IP addresses and all these ranges and all these different traffic types. It can be a little overwhelming, and only a saint would not have the thought you know, do we really need all of this stuff? Uh, you know, what is all of this stuff for? And with multicasting, that's definitely something you're going to run into in real-world networks. You're not just going to learn this for the exam. And let's talk about why it's so commonplace in today's networks. We used to really just have a choice between unicast and broadcast when it comes to traffic. Now, unicast, of course, you know, with that uni prefix, we know that's destined for one host. Broadcast is like a radio signal. We're just going to send it out there, and we want everybody to listen to it. Now, we got to have a middle ground for that, especially in today's busy networks, and you throw voice and video traffic in there, and we don't want all of this traffic going to everybody. And that's probably the most common question I get uh, in my classes and for my students, because people will say, when they look at it, and I had the exact same question, why don't we just broadcast everything? You know, why, why do we want just a few people to get it? Well, there is a really good reason for that, a real-world reason, and that is that everything we do with routers and switches, Cisco or otherwise, uh, has a cost. And it's not necessarily a financial cost, but it's a cost in terms of resources that are needed to handle the traffic. Because you're going to take a little bit of a hit to your CPU, you're going to take a little bit of a hit to the available memory, and everything we do takes a little bit of time. And yes, a lot of the time, that time is measured in milliseconds. And it doesn't seem like that much just for one operation. But as you start handling a lot of unnecessary traffic, which is what we don't want our switches and routers doing, that time starts to add up and little tiny delays come into your network and as many of you know those little tiny delays end up adding up to bigger delays. So we don't want everybody getting every bit of traffic that we're sending out onto our network and if we broadcasted everything we would have a lot of it. Now later in your studies and in your career you'll learn how to create multicast groups where you can say okay I want these particular devices to get this traffic flow but I don't want anyone else to get it. But but for, especially for your CCNA, there are a couple of addresses that you better know for RIP version 2, EIGRP, and OSPF. These are protocols that use multicasting. So it's a good idea, of course, to know these particular addresses, but also why we use multicasting in the first place. Thanks for watching today's video. I'm Chris Brandt, CCIE12933.